Introducing the emulator for developing RL78 family microcontroller circuits. Two types of emulators are available for RL78 family microcontrollers. This video will help you choose the best emulator for your development. E2 Emulator Lite is budget friendly and supports full scale development. For first time developers, educational projects, hobbyist projects, and flash writing in mass production, the E2 Emulator Lite is recommended. Next, the E2 Emulator is a high performance emulator with the concept of improving development efficiency. Combined with extended debugging functions such as current consumption tuning and external trigger functions, it reduces development time. The E2 emulator is recommended for new hardware development, current consumption tuning, and problem analysis. All emulators support the standard debug functions such as download, program run, and stop, breakpoint setting, memory reference change, and trace function. In addition, all emulators support flash writing functions. You can use the Renesis Flash Programmer for flash programming. The E2 emulator has extended debugging features such as current consumption tuning, external trigger input, and external trigger output, further improving your development efficiency. The emulator power supply functions, the E2 emulator light can supply only 3.3 volt, and the E2 emulator can supply from 1.8 volt to 5 volt. Next, we will introduce the current consumption tuning solution, external trigger input, and external trigger output. The E2 emulator current consumption tuning solution can reduce your development time by combining the following three features. Easy measurement. Additional measuring instruments or board modification is unnecessary. The current consumption of the entire system can be measured easily just by connecting the E2 emulator to the user system. Automatic detection. The program can be stopped based on detection of a specified trigger condition, for example, an abnormal current increase or an infrequent event. This function allows for fail-safe capturing of abnormal current to aid in troubleshooting. Quick analysis. The relationship between program operations and current consumption changes can be visualized by setting monitoring points in the program. Multiple monitoring points can be set in the program in the same way as you set breakpoints. This function allows the cause of current increase to be identified. Using the external trigger input function. When detecting a signal change on the user target, the program can be stopped and verified. Detects signal changes, abnormalities or specific conditions, with an external measuring instrument and outputs a trigger. Detecting external trigger input, the debugger stops program execution. Check the stop point of the program in the execution history, trace. Using the external trigger output function. When detecting a program error, the waveform measurement and commutation log can be stopped and verified. Trigger output can be initiated by setting an event at the location where an error occurs in the program. Waveform and communication log are stopped by the trigger signal. Verification of external measuring instrument data at anomaly detection timing. For details, refer to each emulator product page on the Renesis webpage. You can purchase from here. Please see here for optional products.